You know, at one point, it seemed like everybody was gone. I mean, it was just me and my mom. My sister had went to jail, my brother had went to jail, and then my dad had went to jail, and it was just like everybody was like just leaving my life. I should have been dead, and when I said I should have been dead, believe me, I was in situations where I witnessed murder, I witnessed crazy things, been through crazy things. Seattle, Washington is where Louisville's starting point guard Peyton Siva grew up. The youngest of three children, his mother Yvette was the constant in his life as his father struggled to find his way. I was around a lot of gangs, uh, drug dealing, uh, you know, using. Uh, I mean, that's just the nature of that world. When you're caught up in the system, you, you're you're in that world where you, you, you don't care, you know, and um, I had all the reasons to care, but I just didn't have the tools. I really didn't get it. I really didn't understand it. I was that young, and, um, you know, I really didn't know why he was in and out of jail and, you know, where he was at times. When the younger Siva was 13, his father went missing for several days. Too young to drive, but desperately worried, he borrowed a car and searched the streets. Peyton one day came in his brother's car and I was like, what are you doing? He said, I came to pick you up, Dad. You know, and uh, <laughs> here I am, I had my gun on me and I was like, you know, I was just shocked that he, he came in the car. He's 13 years old, he don't even have a driver's license. You know, I found him and, uh, you know, he was really depressed, you know, he had a gun and uh, he didn't want to you know, live anymore. And I was just like, you know, that's stupid. I mean, that's being selfish. Why would you want to take your life when you have other people around you that, you know, care about you? You're not the only person in the world. Like, stop thinking about yourself. We sat there and we just cried our tears out, you know, our eyes out. And uh, he was like, Dad, you know, I know you love me. You know, I know you do anything to be there for me, but I really need you. With the help of his son, Siva Sr. turned his life around. And now, eight years later, with the younger Siva, the captain for a team that was ranked as high as fourth in the country, his father is his biggest fan. You came by back time. Time is very important. And today, I, I, live, I live to watch him. I live to be here. I live to support him. I appreciate it all the time. You know, my dad, not pulling the trigger and for him, you know, putting the gun back and, uh, you know, because I don't know where I would be, honestly. 